Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. What we're gonna be doing is Veronica's hair again because she has these mad black roots everywhere. Look so, at this, oh my god, even in back here, so look bad. how oh, her hair grows like crazy. Like that. So we're gonna be showing how to do a chunky highlight retouch and what we're gonna be focusing on is the close, up close and personal of how to get a pinwheel done. So you're gonna see exactly how we section it, how to lay the foils, all that kind of stuff. The other thing that we're gonna do differently this time is we're gonna add about a half a centimeter of dark around the perimeter because she is one of those really blessed people that has her hair grow back really quickly. We did her roots probably, I don't know, a month ago and they're no, already- this has been six weeks. Six weeks. Well, regardless, that's still a lot of growth with it. Within being... three weeks, you can already see root. I really would love to do my hair every three weeks, but obviously we live in different cities, so we can't always, but that will just work to camouflage a little bit of this, because this is driving me nuts. And I would not want to do her hair every three weeks. So we're gonna time this to see how long this takes to do a retouch. Right now it's about 12.45. So stay tuned, we're gonna section everything, and then we'll be back with the formulas, because we're gonna mix things a little bit differently this time too. So what I wanna talk about is Veronica's hair. It's all sectioned right now. If she can turn just slightly. You can see down here there's double. Look at those roots. There's double yeah. amount of the roots because her hair takes forever to foil. So last time we just redid the pinwheel. Yeah, look at that, horrendous. So last time we just redid the pinwheel for her so that it would look fresh. But today we're gonna redo the whole thing. So here is Veronica all sectioned out. Same sectioning as before. What you wanna notice is that here on the bottom half of her head, there is twice as much regrowth because Veronica's hair takes forever to do. Last time all we did was the pinwheel so that her hair would look fresh. So let's talk about what we mixed here. Bleach is different between manufacturer and manufacturer. Usually you can either mix it one to one, one to two, or one to three. For this, we're gonna mix it one to one and a half. Just because she doesn't have that much root, if it's too runny, what's gonna happen is the foils are gonna slide, then it's gonna bleed onto her blonde, it might cause breakage, damage, the whole works. So you're just gonna have to test it. We're using Schwarzkopf Blondie. We find that this makes it thick enough. You're gonna have to test it with different bleaches if you're using something else. So right now you have seen me foil the bottom before. If you wanna see the foil pattern, just go to our chunky highlight video and then we're gonna be back when we do the pinwheel so that we can get a close-up shot for you to see. So here you can see it can feather it. There's a little, like maybe like a millimeter, and a, maybe a millimeter and a half where it's gonna swell and that way it'll make sure there's no line of demarcation. So what we're gonna do here is leave about a half a centimeter for a veil of dark. So this is just gonna be enough hair in her baby hairs too, to, just to pull back. So what we wanna do is obviously we wanna put it into a foil to make sure that it's nice and clean. Like that. So the same formula for her roots. And then on her ends, I mixed some five natural because obviously it doesn't need to be mixed with 30 ball for that. Now we're just gonna continue up all the rest of the way. It's really important that you wanna pick out exactly what is blonde. So I remember that from the last time I did this, I did three blondes to every two darks. So it's easy to see and easy to pick out. Here we are, finally done. We've been foiling for an hour and 45 minutes because that's how long it takes to pick out all the color. You can see what I did to keep the foils organized is I kept the blonde ends on one side, the brown ends together, and then the blonde ends together, and then the brown end together. The reason why we did that is here you can see Veronica's hair has faded a little bit. We do wanna touch up the brown, so this way we can do it without making a mess. Like it won't bleed on anything else, it's very organized. So we could just go through and recover her ends. Now we're gonna move on to the top. So onto the top, you can see that we've sectioned out it into the four, well I didn't fully do it, I just did this one half. Down in the middle, and this into half, and we're gonna do this side first because 
I want to lay the foils on top of it this way and then I want to make sure I get the front before I get the back so it processes longer. The other thing we did is I mixed only a little bit of bleach because I want it to be fresh the whole way through. The other thing I wanted to point out is the, the formula for the dark. She's naturally a level one and we're taking her to a level five. So usually you would use 40 volt, but because it's sitting in between foils, we mix it only with 30 because the, the, the heat from the scalp is enough to give it that little bit of an extra lift. I find if you mix it the proper way, it's gonna she's gonna end up having hot roots. So this is how you're gonna do it. The first foil is gonna go all the way to the center like that. The second foil is gonna go maybe like two thirds of the way. And then the last foil is just gonna go one third of the way. The reason why you want to do that is if you take every single section of the pie up to the center, then eventually the center starts to move because it can only have one point. So these ones have to be smaller. I'll show you what that's going to look like. I'm going to get Veronica to touch her just like that. Perfect. And just make sure you can see. So it's like that all the way to the center. So here you can see the next section does not go all the way to the center. And this last little part, it goes in even shorter. So here's a little tip for making your foil stay tight. You want to go right next to where the hair ends and fold it right there so that there's no gaps or spaces. When you have those gaps is when the foils are easily shifted. There, you can see that's nice and light. Lastly, what you want to do is you do want to paint down this brown a little bit so I don't have to disturb the foil. And I want to drape it over top of where the other brown section is to kind of keep it all clean again because this stuff has to hang this way. So again we're going to do about a half a centimeter of veil here. Like that. <clears throat> and I'm going to show you one more pinwheel section and then we'll cut it so that you can see the whole finish result. So I'm going to turn it this way so you can see. So again, this first one's gonna go all the way to the center like so. And then you can do a really small one again. How much quicker is to pick it out now that you have the pattern? And then this last one. Okay, here you can see the first quadrant is done. And then we're gonna do a little veil on this side too. And again, you can see the center is still the center. So here it is, Veronica's all done. Spin for me, spin for me. And you can see the pinwheel kind of, there's just a lot of foils, so you can't really see. Say hi. How cute. So now that that's all done, we still actually need to put the brown on her ends. You can see how faded they are. The pinwheel took another hour and 45 minutes to foil. So now we're gonna start the clock for processing because on the ends it just needs to sit for 15 minutes. So here when you do the ends, just pull them all off to the side. See how simple it is when you keep your work organized. Paint it on everywhere.
And then I have a very wide tooth comb to not comb off any of the color, just to make sure that it's evenly distributed. Because you can see how it's dry in there. So you comb it a little bit, comb a little bit more, mix it all together, add a little more color. And this is a really quick and easy way to cover up the ends. And you also want to make sure that you get right up to where you left off when you're painting in between the foil so you have no light band of color in between. So you're here, I can see, put a little color there. Perfect. Here is everything all done. You can see we've covered her ends already as well. It's really easy when you have everything sectioned nicely. So I'm going to show you the pinwheel. The top part took another hour and 45 minutes to do. It is no easy job. What I will say that is the most important thing about getting the pinwheel straight and having, well, not just getting your pinwheel straight, but having your exact sectioning as before is that if you don't do that, what's gonna happen is that your center is gonna move and your pinwheel won't be perfect like this. All the foils are coming out, woo! Woo, I'm so excited! Finally, we're almost done. So this is Veronica's hair all washed out. Now we're gonna tone her roots. Look how yellow they are. With half 8.11 and half 8.22, so a little bit of blue, a little bit of ash. It's gonna neutralize it. And then we're just gonna put an eight and a half on her ends like half eight, half nine. Check that out, look how even the color is all the way down. It's now ready to be rinsed. Here's hair, we just kind of power dried it a little bit. Now we're gonna prep her hair, we're gonna put a little bit of replenish oil in there, just into her ends. And the rest into mine. <laughs> And then we're going to put some protectant everywhere. So again, you want to layer your heat protectant in everywhere. So here is Veronica's hair all finished finally. How long did that take us? Forever. Forever. I'm going to so say good. seven hours. It needed to be toned twice. I even had to wash my hair because I don't want to have to wash it again before work tomorrow. So nice. I love it. Beautiful. So what we're gonna do is finish it with some replenish oil. This is just gonna help to smooth out our ends, which it is already smooth, it's nice and healthy. But you can see how lightweight it is. It doesn't leave any residue in the hair whatsoever. You can see she has some little baby flyaways that we wanna take care of too. We're gonna use Smooth for that. This is an amazing split end mender. It is a split end mender, but it has a little bit of tact as well, but it's completely invisible, so we can literally put it right on her roots like so. It's going to smooth out any and all split ends without leaving any type of residue. I love smooth because especially for the flyaway things or a little bit of frizzy hair, rather than using a hairspray that cakes on and gets like Crusty. gunkier and gunkier over time, you can't feel smooth at all. So if I'm putting it right on my new growth area, this is the area that gets greased really quickly. It gets rid like, of all of that. It's like there's no product in the hair at all. So here you can see all her flyaways are slicked down. <laughs> <laughs> that was a tough word to get off. <laughs> Spit it out. That was a tough word to get off my tongue this morning. Okay, but Veronica, I want you to lean very close so they can see these flyaways. Or no lack of flyaways because you can't see any. Oh, smooth down very nicely. And you can also see that it dries like completely invisible. Like you can use hairspray for that, but then it's gonna look like your roots are really gunky. So let's show them this color. You can see how nice and diffuse it is. Lots of chunks of color without, oh, I'll just turn you a little bit. Lots of chunks of color, but no stripiness at all. And this is gonna be the same all the way around. So I really want to reiterate, it is very important that when you're redoing a, um, a chunky highlight pattern that you find your exact pattern, especially when you're doing the pinwheel. Had my pinwheel been a little bit off, her roots wouldn't be this solid, or not solid, but there would be a line of de demarcation. 
and it's perfect all the way through. You can see that. Beautiful chunks of color. Nice and healthy too. There we go. There's no better feeling than having your blonde hair look like it grows out of your head. I was right. getting depressed. Oh, let's show, them, let's show them the, okay, so this is what we did differently than last time. You can see now she has a little band of brown. So as her dark grows in, it's not gonna be so intense. And if she really wanted to, because Veronica is one of those people that has true like level one hair. My hair grows in at like a black level two. Hers is like black, black. So if she really wanted to touch it up in the meantime, she could just go ahead and put some five around her perimeter and it'll look like her color is fresh. And if she really, really wanted to, she could do the same in here, but she probably won't because she likes it to be perfect, as we all. Who wouldn't want perfect hair? So lastly, I don't know if there, or actually there's no lastly. Anything else we should cover before this video is over? That is all. I guess we'll just go through the hair so you can see again. Um, how well the color is diffused all throughout. Beautiful. There. And other way. Other way, I think. <laughs> I'm not really sure. Other way. Nice and diffused. Beautiful, beautiful. So, yes. If you want to see the color from start to finish, we have already released a video called Chunky Highlights that we're going to link below that shows you the exact foil pattern from start to finish. Yes, from, from start to finish. <laughs> and we put out videos every Friday, so subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, let us know how you like the video, if you guys want to see any other videos, and we'll definitely do it for you. And, oh, go check out our products. Our products are awesome. Go to naven.com. You'll absolutely love them. So I know a lot of you have been asking about the products that we use in our videos. So for a limited time only, we're going to give you $10 off all the products that we use in today's videos. It's only going to be for a short amount of time, so make sure you head over to the link and grab some for yourself to try. And until then, we will see you next Friday. Bye. Bye.